I'm Ola, and today we are going to play Mike of a Restaurant game. In this video I want to share the details of our newest cosmic quest. The quest starts on July 29 and it's going to last for 7 days. This time it's going to have 8 floors, but no worries, they should be passed faster than usual. I'm going to tell you the story of the quest, the bonuses and items that we can get from there, how far we can go, and definitely what it takes. So let's go! This quest is also going to be special, as it's going to help you with the festival tasks in the nearest festival marathon. Watch my video about it on the channel, and now I'm going to tell you how to fulfill those tasks. So Cleo is going to be the main hero of the quest, and she has a super wish. Get 1 million gems. Oh, I share it as well. She heard a legend that the wish can be fulfilled when a certain star falls from the sky, so she's come to a local astronomer for advice, and she's filming a vlog about it. However, the astronomer shut the door just in front of her. But we know that Cleo is very persistent, so we help her get to the astronomer. And this is how we do it. First, we need energy. We have our usual energy generators, extra energy in drinks and desserts, special gifts with energy, and other bonuses, and the energy bars. You can exchange your gems for energy there. You can also cook corn and craft the energy in the oven which is quite convenient when you lack some small amount at some points. Just don't forget to harvest and cook corn regularly. Once, you will even need to feed Marshmallow with a pumpkin, and she's going to reward you with 25 energies. Plus, extra 100 energy for watching ads and special offers twice a day, and the special offers themselves. Some of them can be really tempting. And we're ready to go! So what is here for us in the quest? Well, first, it's the puzzle pass. It's a roadmap of several milestones, and each milestone has a bonus assigned to it. You reach milestones by fulfilling the quest tasks and collecting the candies for it. So, the more candies you get, the more bonuses open up to you. I've actually tested this, and first 7 bonuses can be gained really quick. The backpack seems to be far away, but it can still be reached, and you will get all of the previous bonuses too. There are two roadmaps, free and paid one. You get free prizes every time you reach a milestone, or if you activate a paid roadmap, you get both premium prizes and the free ones. If you want to get to the final prize, the big puzzle box, you will need to complete all tasks of the quest, including clearing up each floor. Every time you clear up the floor, you get 50 candies for that if you're interested. And this is what you can get from the quest. A costume, which can be earned really quick in the puzzle pass, vases with flowers, so there will be a task on the fourth floor to grow the flowers, and if you fulfill it, you can get one vase in the storage, and two more will be waiting for you in the puzzle pass. A coolest sun system. You collect the planets into it during the whole quest, and you will be able to take it to the cafe in the end. The sky map. Though it takes a lot of effort to take it home at floor 7, it's looking amazing in the cafe. You will also be able to find 9 puzzle boxes on the floors and some more in the puzzle pass. And a range of boosters and several gifts, mainly pink and simple ones, but with more effort, gold and blue gifts will become available to you too. Now I want to give you some tips about where to find those bonuses and how to proceed quicker. Some puzzle boxes hide behind pits, which should be filled in with the stones. You will need 8 stones for such pits. 5 plus 3. On the second floor, collect apples and wood tiles straight away, as you will save time for further craft. On the whole, the first 4 floors should be much easier, and it's nice. They will give us a lot of candies for our puzzle pass. The fifth floor becomes very cramped, but we can take the challenge. When you need to research the objects, you don't always need to clear up space in front of them. Sometimes they can be researched even when there is a box in front of them, so check the needed objects first. You're going to have two parallel quests on the fifth floor. Make bird houses and collect bird food. Collect the food first, as it takes longer to craft. If you get to the seventh floor, you can find a puzzle box behind a tree in the garden. And more puzzle boxes and other bonuses are going to wait for you in the secret room, so share your screens on the social media if you manage to get there. Actually, guys, this is it. I hope you will enjoy the new quest and we'll be waiting for your feedback on the social. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell to get all of the new videos. Thank you so much and see you next time. Bye-bye!